Hello, friends. Let's get ready to celebrate Celebration 2024 once again. Tonight, I'm going to share with you some elegant handmade cards using the softly sophisticated stamp set embossing folder and the softly stippled designer sage paper. You are going to love all these items. Uh, and once again, they are available free during Celebration, which starts on Thursday. We're going to talk a lot more about that. If you are here and watching live though, leave me a comment, let me know where you're watching from. Hello, Karen in Florida. Um, hopefully I don't sound too hoarse this evening and I'm gonna sneeze, maybe. <sighs> of course I am, right after I start. <laughs> I have been battling a little cold, so I might sound just a little bit hoarse tonight. Really though, I feel pretty fine. So hello, Cindy. You are watching the Packers and Vikings this evening. Yes, Happy New Year. Hello, Vicki, watching from Arizona. It is New Year's Eve tonight, um, and here I am sharing with you guys, doing what I love to do, which is uh, share hand-stamped projects with you all. Um, so kind of my perfect way to spend New Year's Eve, although I will be staying up late tonight too. So <laughs> hello, Janet from Nebraska and Sarah in Wisconsin. I know that many people come later and watch the replay. If you're watching the replay, special welcome to you as well. I'm so glad you're here. Leave me a comment. Let me know you watched the replay. Let me know what you were up to for New Year's Eve. Uh, if this is your first time here, welcome. I'm so glad that you're here. I hope that you'll hit that subscribe button so you always know to come back and see me again. I am Heidi with Onigo Stamping, and I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. I help people just like you, people who want to be artists, who want to reconnect or connect with their inner artistic side, but feel a little stuck, I help you with lots of card making, ideas, tricks, and inspiration using rubber stamps, ink, and paper to create beautiful handmade cards and gifts. So that's what we're going to do tonight. I'm going to I'm going to show you how to make a card um, using some of these, these products that you can get free during celebration. And then I have some additional cards to share with you as well. So without further ado let's uh let's stop just chattering here i'm gonna go ahead and make my workspace look a little bit bigger oops that was not the direction we want to go we don't want to see me any bigger all right here we go <laughs> so you can see here is the celebration brochure um i can't open this and show you the inside but you can see the outside it's really cute um, if you did not request one of these, if you haven't gotten one of these in your mail along with the mini catalog, let me know. Leave me a note. Let me know. Send me an email or, or something. I would love to pop one in the mail to you. So that's the celebration brochure. You're snuggling with your dog, Susan. How awesome. All right. This is what I'm going to be using tonight. And I forgot to grab the embossing folder. So let me grab the embossing folder that goes with this. There it is. All right, because this item is the Softly Sophisticated Bundle. It comes with this really cute stamp set, which is just so easy to use. It's a two-step stamping set, and it's just elegant and beautiful. It comes with a stamp set and a 3D embossing folder, which is really, really cool. Um, it just is such a nice, simple background embossing folder. Both of these you can get to you can get for free as a bundle with a hundred dollar order during celebration in January and February. Now, even though January starts tomorrow. Celebration doesn't start till Thursday. So we got to hang on just a little bit longer until Thursday to get your hands on these. But this is what I'm going to be using tonight. I'm also going to be using the Softly Stippled Designer Series paper. And this is the paper. Now it is a 12 by 12 paper, and I'm missing a sheet. I have somehow lost a sheet of this. Huh. Well, I don't know where it went to. Oh, there it is. It's just stuck together. All right. This is. A 12 by 12 pack but I cut it down to 6 by 6 just so you can see it a little bit better you can see there's these beautiful florals on one side check out this one it is white with you know I thought this was black but it might just be like a gray like a pebbled path or something and I'm gonna show you a card later that we actually use one of these images so there's florals on one side and then on the other side there's just some very simple um, patterns kind of like a brush pattern and some um, kind of linen patterns back there. So it's very pretty GSP. You are correct. Here. I love it. And it's just great for doing some really simple things. Nice backgrounds. All right. I'm going to pull out my paper here. I am using pool party tonight. I also have some pool party ribbon. This is another celebration item. This is the first time, I think this is the first time I have seen, but they might've done it before where Stampin' Up! has offered 
like an embellishment in the celebration brochure. And this is the pool party ribbon. Um, it's available for free with a $50 order. And here I have my pieces. I'm gonna start with this piece of the designer series paper. You can see it's got kind of like this linen look to it. And we're actually gonna start by embossing this. So this is pool party. I'm gonna grab that softly sophisticated 3D embossing folder and hopefully open this up. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, I'm just gonna pop that in there and we're gonna run this through my, uh, my cut and emboss machine. Sorry, I get uh, sidetracked sometimes with the comments. Hello, Dana, welcome. So glad you're here. All right, so I'm just gonna put this down. This is a 3D embossing folder. So I just have the platform with nothing on it, the number one. And then I'm gonna grab the special plate, which is a number four, it's this gray plate, and we're just gonna run this through. And I forgot to make sure I put this in the direction I wanted. So we'll see, we'll see how I did. Oh, I kind of did it backwards. So this is gonna be a little bit more, when you see my other sample, I'll show it to you in a bit. Um, but I did it the other way so that um, the indented side, you see this is like the raised side. I put it so the indented side was on this side. But we'll just go ahead and use this. It's still pretty, can you see that? Really nice, so. That's gonna be for my background. We're gonna do a little bit of stamping. I have a little piece of basic white here. This is, I believe, two and a half, two and a quarter by two and a half. And I'm gonna stamp this. I'm gonna start by stamping the sentiment on here. And I'm just gonna use the sentiment that says, hello there. I'm gonna stamp this with some pool party ink. And I'm just gonna put this on the bottom, just about right here. There we go. And then I will grab my old olive ink. Actually, I have my ink pads out. Sometimes I remember, sometimes I don't. I'm going to ink up the base of the plant with old olive. And I'm just going to come in here and stamp that right next to that sentiment. And you can see this is a two step stamping set. So this is just the leaves, and it has these weird holes in it but that's okay because we're gonna fill that in with another stamp. So I'm gonna grab my pool party ink again and I'm gonna grab the flowers. And then I'll come in here and I find the easiest way to line the flowers up is to kind of get the buds in the right places. Just twist that so you get it right and we'll put it down and there are those flowers just stamped so easily right in there. And I love two-step stamping because it makes it so easy to create multicolored images um, with just some ink. You don't have to do any coloring, you can just ink it up, which is my favorite. All right, let's adhere this. We're gonna just put this together now. So I have this piece of, this was two and a quarter by two and a half. I have a piece of old olive. It is two and three eighths by two and five eighths. I'm just gonna grab some green glue and pop this on with green glue. And then I have a piece of pool party and the pool party is two and three quarters by three inches. And we're just gonna put this on that pool party. You like the color combination? Isn't that cool? The embossing folder is a celebration item, Margaret. So it's not in the new mini catalog. It actually comes with the stamp set. They come together as one freebie. So you place a $100 order and you can get the stamp set and the embossing folder, which is really cool. The pattern paper you can get with a $50 order. Um, so if you place a $150 order, you can get the pattern paper, the stamps, and the embossing folder. All right, so we're just adhering that together. I have a piece of pool party cardstock and a piece, another piece of the designer series paper and this is using the floral side this is i believe three three and a half inches by four and an eighth inch and the pool party is three and five eighths by four and an eight so there's not going to be any border at the top or bottom there's just going to be side borders on this and you'll see how this comes together so put that together and then this is going to go on this designer series paper that I embossed. 
So we'll adhere that. And I'm just gonna kind of put it over here on the leftish side. Now this piece of designer series paper, it is four and an eighth inch by five and three eighths inch. So we're just gonna put that right on there. So pretty. Now I wanna add some ribbon on here before I get any further. So I'm gonna take a piece of this crinkled pool party ribbon. This ribbon is really pretty, it's soft. You could make a bow with it, but it is gonna make a really big fluffy bow. So instead of putting a bow on this one, I'm just gonna use it kind of as a flat ribbon. So I'm just cutting a piece here, and then I'm gonna take this, I'm just gonna tape it on the back. And this is just kind of not stuck down yet, just because I think that embossing, it kind of raises it up, take, gives it an extra minute to stick. But I'm just gonna flip this ribbon around to the back, hold it down and grab some tape. And just tape that down. And we'll come over here to the side. We'll just tape this one down. Oops, it moved a little bit on me. Let's pop it back into place. There we go. So easy when you can just tape things, right? <laughs> just tape it on the back. All right, so now I have a piece of pool party card stock. This is eight and a half by five and a half. Scored at four and a quarter. And we'll just go ahead and fold it in half on that score line. Give it a good squish with my bone folder. And this piece is gonna adhere right to the front. So I'm gonna add some green glue on the back here. And I'm gonna add a little bit on that ribbon too, just to kind of make sure. So there we go. And this is gonna go right on the front. Now, like I said, this is just one eighth inch smaller, both in length and width from our card front. All right, I'm just gonna hold that for a minute. <laughs> While I am holding that and getting that to adhere, well, celebration doesn't start until Thursday, don't forget that I have some classes and product shares that you have to register for by Wednesday. So definitely deadlines coming up. Um, you're not gonna wanna miss later in January, I have the January online card class using the Sending Love stamp set which is super cute. You will not need the dies. You'll just need the stamp set for that class. And you can register for that on my website. Also coming up is the Be Mine Mystery Craft Box, where you get to do uh, six different projects and you get enough to do two of each. So you make 12 total, six different designs. And that's gonna be using the Be My Valentine stamp set. And that's coming up. Um, well, you have to register by Wednesday and it's going to ship around January 15th. So you have plenty of time to make it for Valentine's. All right, there we go. Isn't that pretty? Oh, so much fun. Oh, I love it. All right, let me show you just the difference. You can see like this one has that raised bump in the back. And then when I did the sample, I actually used it kind of more as a um, the downside. So it kind of looks more like it's stitched almost, I think. Um, so just kind of a little bit different look, but very similar. All right, let's look at the other cards I have. The other thing that you have to register for by Wednesday is my product share. If you want to get a little bit of all of the pattern papers and all the embellishments, you're going to go on and go register for a product share. And when you do, when you get both the paper share and the embellishment share, or you get a double of one or both of those, you're also going to get celebration um, a sample of celebration items with that too. So really great deal. Um, registration does close on Wednesday. We, I gotta get all that figured out because I'm gonna order it right away on Thursday and get those out just as soon as I can. Although it will take probably most of the month of January for me to get those out to you. So here is another one. This is again with that softly stippled background paper. And you can see I cut one of the pieces that is wild wheat. I cut it with the scalloped contours die. And you can tell I stamped the sentiment here and I just fussy cut around it and layered it over top just to kind of give it a little bit extra something. And this one, I stamped in Clips of Coral and Wild Wheat. I pulled those colors right from the designer series paper. And I really like this card, so pretty. It also has some of the opaque faceted gems on there, which are another celebration item. I use so many celebration items on tonight's cards. So there's that one. Here is the one that I colored the designer series paper. So I cut one of those images 
from that um, white and gray pattern paper, right? I cut, fussy cut one out and I colored it with Calypso Coral and Wild Wheat Stampin' Blends and just made this really pretty floral design and then layered that up on some of that pattern paper and added the sentiment from the stamp set. So super fun and easy. And then this card, I made this a while ago. You might've saw this if you uh, came to one of the unboxings uh, earlier, probably in November, but this is just a very simple card. You can see I still embossed the background on just some petal pink. This, um, I should have used the designer series paper, the softly stippled, but I actually used the inked botanicals paper, but still really pretty. And again, this is old olive and Calypso coral. So really fun cards tonight. Just elegant, right? Elegant. I love the way that all of the different celebration items, um, they just have a different feel. And this one I feel like is a really elegant one. So I love it. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be available on Thursday. If you wanna know more about these cards, you wanna see the complete supply list, uh, pop over to my website. I have a blog post over there. You can get the supply list and all that kind of good stuff. You, while you're there, you can also register for those classes and the product share. The product share, you're gonna find it on the catalog page. It's a little bit buried, hard to find. Um, how can you get a $50 pack? Um, so Kathy, what you do, I, I'm assuming that you're asking, how can you get the um, freebies with the $50 order? All you have to do is starting Thursday, you place a $50 Stampin' Up order through me. And on the checkout screen, you're gonna be able to pick which celebration item you want. That $50, it does stack. So if you order like 100 or 150, then you're gonna be able to choose multiple celebration items. Hopefully that answered your question. If not, let me know and I will try again. <laughs> so I will be back again tomorrow night, January 1st, working on the holidays. <laughs> I will be back tomorrow night. We're going to be doing um, some more cards with celebration items. I think tomorrow night I'm going to use the Jungle Pal, Jungle Pals stamp set and dies. We're going to check them out. I got some cute stuff to share with you tomorrow night too. So Thank you all for joining me tonight. I'll see y'all tomorrow night. Have a great evening.